Hello, My Christian Radio. This is A Better Way Show. My name's Dave. Hey, I'm Bill with my cup of coffee. And I'm Steve the Woodsman's with my thoughts on paper. And uh, we're just going to keep going with what's going on out there today. I mean, things are getting crazy in Syria and Libya and what other countries, for goodness sake. Uh, does it matter right I don't anymore? Think it I does. think it does. <laughs> so let's, let's start off with a prayer for the for the people that are fighting addictions and for the country of Israel, though. All right. Okay. Yeah, a silent prayer for that. Amen. And we can Amen. P.S. later, I guess, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, we got to we got to keep Israel mind continuously. It's what it's all about. Uh, you know. I mean, if you think about it, it's simplistic because it's good against evil. It's what it all boils down to. Good against. It doesn't evil. matter what it. If it's in politics. Uh, national and, issues, and, and capitalism. I wasn't planning on talking about this right away, but I, I think we might as well get the album cover thing out of the way because you guys just hit it on the head. That's all my album cover states. Don't everybody freak out on it. It is the essence of the battle of good and evil. It's what we Christians do. What are we afraid of? Why are we afraid of this album cover? I'm trying to point out to everybody that we are at war here. We are at war with the enemy, but God gives us all the armor and everything we need to battle him. Don't be afraid. That's all it does. That's all that album is. It, it's just a reminder that we are at a constant war and we have to stay on the side of righteous and stay on the side of God. Exactly. It's a daily battle. Every day there's a balance between good and evil. Every exactly. Day. Okay, I got that off my chest. <laughs> Do you feel better? Yes. Because I think your album cover is fine. It, it, I, it, it, you know, people are either not thinking enough or thinking too much into it, and that seems to be the, the, the problem of the common man. I agree. They just, you know, they can't accept the, the beauty of the woodpecker in your the tree. Thoughts? They want to, na- you know, analyze it. <laughs> well, exactly. I mean, you got half the side red, which symbolizes the blood of Christ, and then you have the other side dark, which is the darkness the satan the the addictions the the evils in the world all around and 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 as christians we're always up against the wall against that we're we're being persecuted as through the media you know the the, the muslims over in the middle east uh, they, uh, they uh, seek to destroy a, a, a leader a muslim leader that's a united states muslim leader right in this country doing the same well, thing apparently right. your music's going to get the message out there because there's rocks being thrown in the road to try to upset your apple cart you know well, well, constantly so, but god will prevail constantly there truth will prevail god will prevail the good always overcomes evil right always well, even Billy Graham's son now is getting a lot of flack because of his recent statements um, about the battles of the good and evil, and that's where our world is headed for. And now, you know, anybody that doesn't agree with the Bible are coming out and making uh, mockery of him. Well, and doesn't that isn't that what it says in the Bible? Exactly. Many will mock me. And false prophets. And false prophets. And did you hear the uh, what was it? Uh, and blessed are those who are persecuted in my name. You're saying persecution. Right. And the, uh, the I don't know who it was that said that people that follow the Re- book of Revelations are like living in the Stone Age. And I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you got to be kidding me, man. Yeah, they, this, they, he is the way. He is oh, the truth. Stephen King. He is the light. No, it wasn't Stephen King. I'm sorry. It was... Uh, yeah, I can't I did remember. hear that, though. It doesn't but, matter really who said right. it. I wouldn't want to give him any, any yeah. publicity, but... You know, because even bad advertisements, advertisement. Right. But yeah, they say they say if you believe in the Book of Revelations, then you're just stupid. Right, is right. Basically, what they exactly. say. Exactly, exactly. Like, uh, you know, well, it's all against good against evil. But what do you think about this, Mister Farrakhan, dude? And I use I, the word Mister. Well, I call him Calypso Louis. Calypso <laughs> Louis. Well, he, this guy, kind of scares me, if you ask me. Well, you know, he got the Million Man March going. Well, if he can, and yeah. If he can do that, then we have to take into consideration that uh, he might be having a, a hold on something when he says 
that Islam's radical riots are coming here. And if the president does not disarm the white militias, there'll the be a white bloodbath. militias. There'll who be a are bloodbath. well armed. Yeah. So in other words, here we go back to a group of people coming into our country and forcing their ideals on us, not accepting what America stands for, right. but what they can change America into. Right. And so if there is a bloodbath, well, you know what? God in the Bible had his armies put to death groups of people. And if we have to have that relived in America, then so be it. Right. You know what I mean? But we have freedoms here. <laughs> He'll and, tell us. And, it, 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 the, the, you know, like I said on the last program, Christians created the free world, and the Muslims are trying to take it away. Oh, exactly. Trying to tear it all down. Yeah, right. So, well, and, uh, not you know. just Muslims, <laughs> non-believers like Russia believes in the same concepts of communism. Uh, you know, they've opened up to the free market and stuff like that. But you know, I just don't trust Russia. I don't trust Putin. I don't trust him. Yeah, well, they're getting enough. upset that we want to put that missile shield, to, which is solely well, to protect Europe from Iran. Yeah, but we've already decided not to do it. Now he's now he's telling us how to run this thing over in Libya, and it's like, look, you abstain from voting. You shouldn't be saying anything. Exactly. You know, if you want to help the situation, fine. Now, me personally, I don't think we should be in Libya just because we've already got two war fronts going there. The uh, Muslims don't hate this country enough, and all we're doing is saddling, uh, rattling the sabers out there, you know. Oh yeah, well, but, you yeah. know. And well, then in another way, well, that's what's happened. Yeah. That's what's coming. There's not much we can do to stop no. what's going to happen. And we've said that over and over yeah. and over. Get ready, people. We're trying to make you prepared. Yeah, you got to prepare in the, the spiritual sense, but you know. I do believe that the Lord is going to test his people and we're going to taste a little bit of tribulation. So you need to prepare elsewhere also. Yes, remember. And, and you need to prepare not only for yourself, but you know you have loved ones that are just as dumb as a box your of rocks. Your family, your friends, and you're responsible for maybe all this will help mankind them. around you. It'll, it'll help them you know, get off the fence you know, and not be uh, uh, doubtful about Jesus' And his existence. We need the basic instruction before leaving Earth. We need the Bible. Exactly. We need everybody to be reading that Bible and uh, and pray about it before you read it. You know, say oh, prayer to the Lord and ask Him to reveal what you know. Hey, what's the message you want me to and, to learn today? And 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 I guarantee you, when you read the Bible, then after you do that, it's going to pop at you like, wow. You know, and you're going to go wow. And there are still things that I don't understand, and. It's like, well, you know, I, I watch religious programs because people out there have a different perspective on uh, what they, how they read it, how they see it, perceive it, and I listen to them because it it helps me find a new direction of thinking. We're not, none of us stupid. None of us are stupid. It's just the direction that we think in. What was what was that saying, Bill? It, uh, we just happen to have the O'Reilly Show on. If for all of you out there listening, but. I was just mentioning about um, Billy Graham's son, and 85% of viewers voted uh, Billy Graham's son as a patriot for speaking about the end times. There and you go. 15 oh, percent, amen to that. Amen. Oh, God bless him. Said he was a. And see, that's what gives me hope about pinhead. America. But but it's that 15%. You see, the 15% pinheads that are rattling all the noise. They're the media. Well, they're the right. You know, they're the left. They're this. Well, that. we need to learn that the majority rules, and we need to teach them that the majority rules, well, because it's those that, that small percentage of atheists that are taking the Ten Commandments out of our courthouses. Right. You know, well, what's that telling yeah. the judges now? They don't have to. They don't. You know, well, if we don't want God in the courthouse, I, I got to find out who that congressman is or that senator. He, I mean, he's making it his life's work, and I know I've mentioned this before. I can't, I don't know who it is though. But it's, it's worth it's, mentioning it's, again. It's, it's he's an atheist, and he's like making it his life's work to make sure that in God we trust is taken off American currency. Well, I know unacceptable. That. Well, we need unacceptable. The, the, the majority need to put the minority in their place when he's it comes one to that. Congressman, how many congressmen we got? Four hundred and you know. Right, but he, so, but he, he'll, he'll get away with it. 
He'll get the little percentage. Yeah, he'll he get a, but he'll get away with it. It's you know that's no, what's sad. The day that they take in God we trust off our money is the day that America's uh, doomed. Doomed. Well, it's that, that, good, that, that that should be a sign from God. People, good against evil. Right. Good, good against, against evil. evil. If we let this if happen, if you take in God we trust off your money. Then that's going to be the beginning of the end of the American. Well, dollar. I'll bet you it's not going to be on the currency of the world. Oh, of course not. Well, it'll be a credit that'll be electronic. You watch. It'll the, the future currency right. is going to be an electronic credit. Oh well, yeah, but we won't be here. Well, only the people that have that little chip in their hand right. or their forehead. Well, we're but well, we're we're witnessing you know, it coming. And, and you know what they're getting credit for, don't you? Yeah, they're getting credit. To How many lashes they're going to get when they get to hell? Right. <laughs> Now, what is Allahu Akbar? Akbar. That's our, that is God is great. God is great. Okay, that's what they. That that's what God the guy great. yelled. Well, God is great, great but and that's what a Muslim will say before he blows up an airplane. And that's what they did at Fort Hood. And they and that guy. That's did what at that Fort guy Hood. did at Fort Hood. And they're saying it's not a terrorist act. You know what? If if, if a Christian let off a firecracker and it caused a stampede and somebody got a broken leg, that would be a, a terrorist act. Yep. But these guys can go in and are. kill people. And yell this, and it's, we're not going to look at it as a terrorist act. Come on, right. that's insanity. Right. So you were watching that Glenn Beck show then last night. Yeah. When, With when the Calypso you, Louie? If anybody yeah, wants to know why I call Calypso Louie, it was because back in the 50s and 60s, Mr. Farrakhan was a Calypso singer. He had some hits in the Calypso <sighs> world. But, you know... How many people listen to Calypso music? Is that uh, type of music like endured over well, the years? stranger things have happened with people but, coming from but, low roots like that all well, the way up to Ronald Reagan. And we don't talk about Ronald Reagan. Reagan. He's an actor. Musicians. <laughs> uh, yeah. Most musicians, most musicians, you know, today either they grow up and be uh, Christians. A lot of them go Christians. A lot of them become left wing advocates or. I don't even want to go as far as saying Look, left he's just wing, a religious but, ra- radical that gets a tax-free income. Like, yeah. That, that's all it is. He's yeah. just a religious radical that gets a tax-free income. Who, Ferry? Yeah. Con? Yeah, yeah Ferry Khan, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, he's he's uh, been uh, referred to Obama as, as his brother. <laughs> well, you know, well, he predicts he civil Farrakhan, war. I don't think, I don't know if that's and his he, real He wants name. to disarm the white militia. Okay, he, he, he's... he's He's not, if he had his way, he'd have the white people destroyed altogether. Well, exactly. <laughs> okay. Because now, now because he's think, Islam. He is, you think now, right? you want to talk about racism? That's this Islam. is the guy that, that gets away Islam. that talks with getting away with racism every time he opens his mouth. It's hate but speech. But it's against it's hate speech against white people. But does anybody make a big deal about it? No, nope. not one. But, but you go start talking about doing the same thing to black folks. And you're go, you're going away, buddy. But eighty five percent just said that Mr. Graham was a patriot, patriot and opinion. that gives me hope for America because people do see the truth. The truth always prevails. Light always exposes evil and destroys it. You, unfortunately, we have, keep, for, we have to keep that in mind as we move forward. Unfortunately, in these days and times it's a lot longer for the truth to really come out well exactly, exactly. a lot longer because they know that if they put a lot of disinformation out there that you got to right. sift through that you are preoccupied with the diversion tactic which oh, the real is what they're using on everything out. the real truth won't come out until certain documents are released and you know this is all years down the road when certain people are dead and gone well the real truth never will come out in some well, it's cases like, it's like uh the Kennedy assassination until all the family members of the of President John F. Kennedy, brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, all of them are dead except for his daughter Caroline. Okay. Well, when she dies, and all the Kennedys that were that close that had or anybody that had anything to do with that case, then the records can be unsealed, and the truth. Would come out. Yeah, but the rapture is going to be here by then. Probably. Let's but, hope. The, the, Let's see, pray. See, my 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 uh, feeling on the truth is that uh, we're never going to know the truth in this realm. We'll be, we'll no, be told we the won't. truth in the next realm because it'll be the the real truth, not. 
the truth as somebody right. receives it and wants to deliver it to you. Right. Okay, because that's what the government's good at lying. The government is the broken truth every, from God. The, the government's broken every law that there is. Right. And it's not the only government that's done that. So here it is, you know, trying to like come up with rules of engagement where you, you're fair on the, on the battlefield. That's that's bunk. That costs us, that costs lives. You know, you go in there, you win, you get out, and it's costing money, and it's 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 ridiculous. They're just it's every all their decisions, like I said, are made selectively to to either address or not address an, an issue so that it helps along the coming in of the one world government. Right. That that's all it's about. Children may starve; they don't care. Wow. Hey, uh, not to really just get off the subject. Today, the wife brought up a video on online. It was of this little boy who basically had a after a life death experience. You know, came back to life and all that. Uh, when he was four years old, four years old. Okay, really didn't know much at all about nothing. His parents didn't even tell him about Jesus or anything like that. The kid actually went into the light and was sitting on our Lord's lap, watching his father pray over him. When he came back out of it, he told their, his parents all this, and his dad goes, there's no way. There was nobody in the room. There was no nurses. No th there, How could he know exactly what I was praying? He, the kid was out, you know, and all this. So it was amazing. And he said that a, a man with great, great wings come up to him. And he goes, Hi, I'm your grandfather. How, and the kid never met him in his life and came back and told all these people the, his name and everything and what he told him to tell him. And he goes, there's only way he would have known that is if my father would have told him that, his actual grandfather. So think about that. People. That's a miracle. As a, a miracle, amen. But like yeah. I said, it, no matter how lost you get, in what's being told to you, and no matter how much diversion they try to use to to cloud your thinking, always, always, always go back to the spiritual, the the resurrection, you, to the you, word. You'll always it'll always snap you back to reality. It's the only reality. You know, I didn't get to bring this up last week, and I really wanted to, but we were really covering some stuff and. Um, the UN is voting on making any talk against Muhammad or the Quran hate speech that's punishable by death in a court of the world of the world. Of oh, the world, okay. But but that's against the Constitution. Now that's if we said something in somewhere else out of the United States, correct? Because here no. we have freedom of speech. No, the UN it's going to be worldwide. It won't happen here in the United but, States. But I'm just telling you, they'll try it. They're, they're look, they're, it, it's kind of like they're putting a cannon in your front yard, but they're not going to put a shell in it. So it's okay because it can't hurt you. If well, it's hey, not I'm going to go out on a limb here. Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. I hate to tell you, Muhammad's the wrong guy, people. Well, Muhammad is a frustrated, <laughs> dirty old man that was mad at some Christians. And I live his, in Ohio. wrote his own book <laughs> back in 866, and he hates <laughs> Jews, and he hates Christians because they came into his land and tried to teach him how to go to the bathroom in a potty. You know, oh. third world. You know, the third world countries okay, are. Okay, well, let's be nice. Here. No, let's no. Be listen, nice, this but... is this is this is to tell you the mentality of the world. We're used to living in America, and we're used to all of the of the luxuries of America. Right. I just saw a program that was praising the third world countries for finally putting up signs all over the place prohibiting public defecation. Isn't that a shame you have to do that, though? Uh, uh, well, um, this is what we're I mean, dealing with. I can see with. it if you're out in the well, woods. This is what we're dealing lost. with. You, 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 uh, there, there were, there were some, some people that were Muslims living in an apartment complex in Colorado, and they didn't even know what a bathroom was. And when they moved out, the janitor showed me what they had left behind, not knowing what a bathroom was. You can only let your imagination. Go. I don't even want to think. Exactly. So, well, this is the, this is what we're dealing with. Okay. Is now you can't put them all in the same boat, but 
Come on, people. I agree with Glenn Beck that their religion just puts their whole society back a thousand years. A thousand. A thousand years. Two thousand. Two thousand, yeah, I can go with that. Oh, we we finally got all the signs up now that prohibit public defecation. Right. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Hopefully they can read it. That should be common (laughs) sense. Well, see, that's another issue, you know? Uh, are they are they brainwashed with Muhammad and that's it? Because that's what it is. It's a brainwashing. It is, you know. Well, yeah. Now, why do they pray to the east? And 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 ours is definitely faith based, and you and you just need to believe in, in, that Jesus gives us that right of free will for us to make our choices. Well, see, that, that's an issue here that that you know these the the, the Islam and the left wingers for some reason, seem to have one thing in common, and that is the destruction of America. Yeah. And these people are traitors and because they are... I figure that they're domestic enemies, okay? And they're against the Constitution. They're against freedom. They're against God-given rights. If you're against God-given rights, then you're against God. Right. And Islam is against God-given rights. They, they want to take them away from us here in this country. Right. And any of these left-wingers that were, are on board with them, they're traitors, and they should be brought up on charges. Well, it's the enemy of my enemy is my friend. You know, the, I mean, we could probably impeach a good 75% of our government right now and clean house and really do something for this country. Uh, well, as I think a message was sent back in 2010 and I'm hoping that message will get a lot bigger in 2012. Well, the problem is the uh, snail, the, the snail of good news moves a lot slower than the wolf of bad news. Well, look what's going on right now. You know. I mean, our president right now, is, he's... is, is uh, He's selling us out, dude. Well, his approval ratings are down. He's not looking too good to be he's, a he's second us out. president. This is how and, the, and and hold on, uh, uh, he, I would kind of believe that because uh, what's his name here again? Farrakhan. Uh, yeah, I want to see. <laughs> I keep I keep thinking of Shrek. I want to call him Farquaad. <laughs> uh, I'll call him Lord Farquaad. <laughs> okay, Lord. That's, that's his name now. No. Anyway, uh, I've, <laughs> that's funny, <laughs> but uh, he uh, in the bio uh, when I was reading didn't really try to come out and actively support Barack Obama for president. But No, you he, never heard but to it said to though, no. It said at the end of the article that he actually admitted that although he was supporting him, along with Al Sharpton. Now, there's a weird triangle. Yeah, buddy. I don't trust... Uh any of the buddy, any of the anybody that believes says they're a Christian and sides with the left is not a true Christian in my book. Right, exactly, because they're they're because they're not looking at at it from the Lord's. Point they're of not view. looking at it from a Christian point of view. Well, as the God Lord's would point, want us to look not, at it. Not, they're not looking at it as Lord's point of view. Right, exactly. You yeah. know. Exactly. We have not to, just the Bible, but the Lord Himself. And uh, that the Bible is the Lord's word, and it basically tells us how to live and how to treat our how neighbor. Many Christians? It does not say go kill our neighbor. He commanded me, as I've loved you, I now command you to love each other. How many Christians do you know, or people do you know, that claim to be Christian, that believe that the Bible is nothing but uh, fables and? Uh, just stories. And I oh, I'm sure there's a whole bunch out there. I, I know there's a lot of people out but there, but they don't right? take it as fact. They, they don't, take they, it as they take it as is a parable. It's the living, breathing word of God. Now there are parables. You're a product of your there environment. There are parables in the Bible. I, I will say that that Jesus taught. He was. It was stories well, that he told through a parable. Exactly. What's it really called? We don't think how we're going to learn anything. Right. What's it really called? He though? gave us a brain. That's what it's called in the Bible, a parable. <laughs> I mean, no, what, what's the Bible really called, though? The Word of God. The living Word. The living, living Word of God. Word of God. The right. living. Okay, that's the whole thing. The Quran I just said is that earlier. dead. Right. It, it's about death. That's, that's what it's about. It's about death. Yeah, they celebrate death, not life. Exactly. And and it, it, it's it, 
it's wrong and how how the, the the world can be brainwashed by this is beyond me but you know <laughs> it's part of the plan and Jesus is coming and, and the battle of Armageddon can't stop is coming that. and the rapture is coming yeah. and you need to prepare for it please prepare for it please there's uh, you know and they were, we're talking about Farquad here. <laughs> Lord Farquad. Anyway, he's even friends with Gaddafi. Oh, exactly. I mean, yeah, they showed pictures of him sitting right there with Gaddafi and a few other well, he was people that I was sitting there going, talking why about, are they all in a room together? They were talking about all the good Gaddafi done. And I'm like, you know... I, I, no, they were sitting there talking anti-American. I don't care how much good you do. When you kill somebody, when you, murder, when you have somebody murdered, it's innocent. All the good that you've done is That's just going went out the window. That's against one of the Ten Commandments. Exactly. And All that you, good work went out the window. And that's why you can't get to heaven on your works. Well, it's Only like this, through Jesus can you get to heaven. This whole Lockerbie thing, they had Dennis Kucinich last night asking him, you know, about Muammar Gaddafi, and he ordered the Lockerbie bombing right, right. that brought it down. He even paid retribution back to the families, but yet them yeah. hundred and ninety families Oh sorry I killed your family. Them hundred and ninety <laughs> families still want to see retribution and when they see their their own congressman saying it's not the right you know does the United States want to kill the guy? Probably. But the main thing is they want him out of power. The one guy I heard today would be to get him out of there and put him up on war crimes. That would be the best outcome of this whole ordeal. Well, that would Is be it going to end that way? No. No, he'll probably if anybody shoot gets himself. Put, or, if anybody gets brought up on war crimes, it would be Obama. And, and that's only because the Muslim countries would try to bring him up on it. For invading their country just because he's the president. Well, I'd like to serve that warrant, I'll tell you. Well, I'm just saying, (laughs) it doesn't matter who the president is. Uh, As long as the United States is uh, messing around in the Middle East, and, I mean, what we did in Afghanistan was good, okay? A lot of people are still out on the fence about Iraq, but it's over, you know. Well, they need to bring our boys home. Yeah, they need to bring that, and they are. You know, you know, they're going to bring all them boys home within a couple of years from there. We can't police the world. Our no. forefathers no. knew we couldn't feed the world or police the world. And I so don't think they it, have set us here. up too. No. You know, that's why they left and England as soon as we to quit doing with. that, look where our, our trouble started. Right. We started babysitting the world. If they want to kill each other, you know, I'm sorry. You can't help everybody. I mean, everybody. it was very reluctant that we even got in the first World War One and World War Two. I mean, Roosevelt did not want to go into the world, uh, into the war in Europe. But then, when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, he didn't have a choice. He didn't have a choice. He had to go. And what happened when we went? We mopped up. We helped the the British uh, mop up and take down Hitler, and we took down Japan. But what really happened in the Pacific? We took down Japan in the Pacific. On our own. But what really happened was the banks got stronger and evil grew. Well, yeah, of course. That's what really happened. And that's what needs to be taught in our books here in America. But unfortunately, no, we're, we're pumping out dummies. Oh, yeah. Like, like money. Ka-ka-ching, ka-ka-ching, ka-ka-ching. I mean, it's, it's a... They Political don't even know. correctness in, in our schools is run amok. Yeah, it's, that's they're uh, ruining our children. It's not the way we were taught. In the school. good thing is, you know, I mean, I see it growing at a geometric rate. It's just, I mean, unbelievably fast how this is all transpiring. But as fast as it's moving is as fast as it'll be over, because it's only going to go so far, and then Jesus will be here. Oh well, okay. man, another quick half mm-hmm. hour goes by. Well, folks. Hey, we'll continue this. Steve's got like 14 pages of notes, and uh, we will see you next week. We're trying to keep you all abreast on what's going on. And remember, pray for Israel. Definitely pray for Israel. Pray, pray, pray for just everybody. I'm just asking everybody to pray for everybody. God said he'll watch over his people. 85% think that Mr. Graham was 
a patriot. So maybe God will watch over us a little while longer. Amen. 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 All right. Well, we'll see you next week. We'll see you, folks. Talk to you next time. God bless. Praise the Lord. When you feel far from home And you're standing all alone It's a time when nobody cares That Jesus is always there Call out to Him Open your heart and let Him in When everyone just lets you down And wears your thin just like a frown